Like I said, you guys are used to this playing top 25, top 10 teams. So Stanford's likely to be number two when the new polls come out. How much of a, um, uh, how much more of an opportunity is this for y'all? I think really with us, I feel like we play much differently. We're like a much more different team because we approach everybody the same way. Like we have to pound hard at them, uh, show them what we've been working on for over the years, over the season, the off season, all that. So we kind of just approach every team like, okay, this is a championship every single game, no matter who it is. So I think it's an opportunity every single game. Anything a little extra for this one, considering that Stanford and they won the national championship last year and also beat you guys in the final four? I think it's really just a calm down everyone. Like. <laughs> just another game and this is one third of our season about to be done so it's really just to kind of quiet everybody down like calm down we still got the rest of the season to go so that's kind of the game we look at. You mentioned one third of the season being done but it's been a really tough one third of the right. season with all the top teams you played. Dawn was saying a couple days ago just about the fatigue of playing all these top teams. How do you guys combat that knowing that you got to bring you know 110% mm -hmm. every single one of these games? I think it comes with like after games, no matter how tired you are, you gotta get in, you gotta recover, you gotta eat right, you gotta sleep right. So we know that the schedule we have, we know who we're playing, we can't get upset if we're feeling tired and we have to practice, we have to go over scout. So it's definitely take care of our body and you know, just making the smarter ideas when it comes to off the court. How long did that shot linger in your mind following the game against Stanford? I think that, it's lingered for a while, I would say. But, you know, at some point, in order to be better, you got to get over it. So I think probably a, a week after that game, and I was just, okay, move forward. You got to move forward. You're it, taking Haley Jones tomorrow? Taking Garber? Probably end up everywhere. Host toss in the blender. <laughs> in, in terms of just when you look at this matchup, is there a part of you, I and mean, a lot of people are saying it's the revenge game, it's the revenge game, but. For you, what is your approach going into this game against Stanford? I think, again, just it's a game to see where we're at, see how we've gelled together throughout the season, see how you know we play amongst each other. And it's just another step forward for the end of the season where we do get to the tournament. So I think it's just another big game, another big opportunity, like I said, to show people where we're at and how we play with each other again. Bree, how do you feel about the offensive movement? against Duke. It seemed like everybody tries to zone you all out. It seemed like around the perimeter it was maybe a little off from the pace that you guys normally like to have. I think we can say uh, that game we were kind of a little slow, kind of didn't really make any you know, adjustments as far as the zone because we're going we're gonna to see a lot of junk defenses, a lot of zones against us trying to pack the paint. So we just definitely got to make more adjustments when it comes to that and be able to you know, attack gaps, see gaps, and get the ball moving. What was the reason for it? Fatigue maybe? Just a little warm Really up. just... Again, just not making adjustments, really. That's really on us. Okay. Yeah. You guys are seen as the runaway number one in the country right now. After all the teams you've been, do you guys feel like everyone is gunning for you guys, especially at this point in the season? I think definitely any time like, we step on the court, we'll feel that you know, everybody wants us. Everybody wants. To, everybody's going to play their best game against us. So that's definitely the, the chip on our shoulder that we have. So we got to come. We can't just play a game like it's just a pickup game, you know, at some area like we got to come ready we got to come prepared you know we got to know personnel scout all the little things so definitely take that game serious what's the key to imposing your will on an opponent i think every team always likes to say like we're gonna get them to play our brand of basketball you guys seem to do it more often than not what's the secret behind that I think really we don't want to, you know, play at other people's pace. We want to play at our pace because we're best at our pace. Uh, that's what we're best at, playing at our pace. We don't want to play slower like other teams or we don't want to play too fast like other teams because that's not good for us. So we like to be able to control other teams and, you know, move our offense like we usually move. That's fast, strong to the basket, playing physical, physical basketball. I know Gamecock fans have had this game in particular circled on their calendars. How big will they be tomorrow in this arena, which we expect to be pretty, pretty packed? Right. They always come through, so I expect it to be, you know, if it's not sold out, near sold out, and I expect to hear them, you know, echoing throughout, you know, the whole arena tomorrow.